big team for the last five years has been, I, I, actually I would say the last 10 years since 99 has been the emergence of broadband as a platform. So my view was with, with as broadband becomes prevalent across the planet, um, it will change the way everything we do, whether it was, you know, we consumed the internet, consumed videos, con consumed, you know, information, everything. It was a radical change. And so I covered everything from the entire, from layer one, layer zero, which is fiber, right up to the services, because that was my my view of the world that this is a platform just like PC was a platform and and similarly I think the next 10 years we are about to take a, another you know 10x jump in broadband to what I'm beginning to call ultra band I guess I don't have a better name for it maybe somebody else comes up with a better name but what it is is like when 50 megabits and higher connections are normal like they're not you know, they're not an extreme case, they will be normal. Well, in Germany and in France, we're already beginning to see a lot of you people are getting 15, 20, 25 megabits to your house. Be belief is that when that happens, it creates a whole different set of opportunities and challenges, right? Because when you have, I don't know, maybe 500 million people on the planet hitting the network at those kind of speeds at some point in the future, it kind of changes the way you know you think about infrastructure, the thing you need uh, for those uh, for that kind of an environment. The kind of services are going to be entirely different. I mean, you know, there's a whole generation of kids who're going to grow up using you know 10 megabits, 15 megabits, and higher speeds, and they are the ones who are going to come up with what is probably the next Skype or the next YouTube because you know you need to live the broadband to kind of invent something to consume the broadband, sort of like how Windows consume Intel, you know, processing speed and and similarly Intel created a faster processor to match the needs of the PC. Because there is nothing interesting out there apparently, right? So the, or, or something which is so simple to understand and so profound and so easy to use, right? Like that's, that's why people are talking about Twitter. But what Twitter really represents is the, the big evolution towards what I think is the end of communications. And it is more towards interactions. Communication, if you think about it, are for the narrow band world, right? Like you would talk with somebody, aka make a phone call because there was bandwidth constriction on the network, so it made a lot of sense to just pick up the phone and call. Now you can stream your life, whether through videos, photographs, Twitter, or whatever it is, to 50 people who matter to you most. In some cases, it's only 10, right? Your friends, maybe five friends your immediate family and a couple other people and that's it. That's all really it matters. But you can do a lot more going forward as you send these people information, right? This is what the that was the brilliance of the Facebook news feed was exactly that. Right? It was a little bit ahead of its time in many ways. A lot of people don't seem to realize why that is actually relevant. And that's that's what it is. It's like Going forward, think about this way, every time we have a new technology shift, we have managed to take away time from our lives, right? When the PC came around, we compute more, and as a result, we communicate with our friends and family less, right? Because so we are always in front of the computer, working longer. Then the internet came along, so we are sending more emails and we are doing a lot of more things. We are not really meeting people as often as a society at large. And I'm not just talking about U.S., I'm talking about the world at large is beginning to kind of optimize itself around the network. I am in a restaurant talking to my friends or I'm in India with my parents and having dinner with them. I am not communicating with them. I'm interacting with them, 
right? It's not communications. Communications is when you write a memo and send it to somebody. You know, communications is when you pick up the phone and call somebody and have a two minute conversation. When you sit with your family at a dinner table or watch, you know, a game with them, you're not you're not communicating. I think this is where people kind of confuse the whole idea of communications is like sending a communique, right? It's not communication per se, it's interaction. And I think we're going to mimic all of that on the network because the technology is going to make it easier, right? Like I would love to see my little nephew in real time wherever he is, right? If he's in India or Canada or wherever, if there's a little camera they can put and then I can, I can see him every day, talk to him for a few minutes and not think about, oh, long distance charges and techn complex technology, who cares? I don't know why we have this notion that everything has to be a massive wave. No, it's not, right? Like you have a massive tsunami called the internet hit the shores. Okay, so maybe we don't have a lot of, you know, big ideas right now. Okay, you know, six months down the line. I mean, you know, human mind doesn't stop working regardless of, you know, what kind of recession you have, depression, financial meltdown, or, you know, VCs not investing in companies. The human mind continues to tinker with itself all the time. Like people are thinking, people are imagining all the time. It doesn't matter. And so maybe six months, eight months, ten months, nothing great is coming along. But that doesn't mean it won't. How can somebody with such a philosophical approach uh, write about daily news developments in the digital world? How with with a little bit of cynicism, I guess, you know, because I kind of, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just, just, I view the world as the way it is, right? I look at it from a, yeah, from a more philosophical standpoint, which is why I actually get to enjoy the technology and the stuff around it, not just, you know, I don't get caught up in the mechanics of it. I just, I just love the possibilities and sometimes that's what you need to believe in if you want to do daily news you know it's hard but it's a part of life <laughs>